Well, good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? So, uh, it's Wednesday. Already Wednesday again. And of course, you know, around here, know what that means. Williams Wednesday. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It's Williams Wednesday. We're back again. Of course, you know, Williams is good on any day that ends in a Y. So, we're good any way we go. But here we are back to Williams Wednesday. So, uh, we'll do something a little bit different today. Not really. There were some discussions over on, uh, I think it was a shaved in I was reading here a while back. And uh, well, I was asked a question by the, uh, the Samurai, Bama Samurai, about uh, using just a regular old cake of Williams. This is just regular old modern Williams. I just, you know, happen to have a few laying around. You know, here they and you're under odds and ends. And just using a regular old cake of Williams, like a shave stick. Instead of grating it down and making a shave stick out of it. And I was told, I told them, yeah, you know, I'm sure that happened a lot. And uh, so we're going to see what happens with that today. I have a feeling I know what's going to happen, but we're going to, uh, we're going to do that. That's going to be today's shave. Also, uh, I can't remember, I'm sorry who it was right off the top of my head because I'm terrible with remembering names. Someone had asked about a shave with a contour or a contour two. So I dug around and the first one I ran across was the contour two. And uh, the difference is the contour is a push button, open and close. And the contour two uses the kind of, you know, 1912 style. And even though it has a 1912-ish look to it there with the head, it is a lot milder. Uh, this is probably one of the mildest of the uh, SEs. It was also the last of the SEs. But uh, it's definitely uh, mild. Now, does mild mean that it won't shave good? Absolutely not. doesn't mean that at all. A mild razor shaves great too. Now, personally, I generally use razors that have more blade feel to them, I'm more aggressive. And uh, people argue sometimes about what aggressive means. Well, you know, you can have a big blade gap and not really have a lot of blade feel, and I don't consider that really an aggressive razor. An aggressive razor to me has a lot of blade feel and, uh, you know, the efficiency. But razor's a razor, blade's a blade. You know, because you're still running a blade down next to the skin, so you can still get the good shaves as you can with a mild, as you will with an aggressive razor. Personally, like I said, I like to feel a little aggressive razor. I like to drive something with a big V8 instead of a little four cylinder. They still get you there. And if you gear it right, you do everything right, a four cylinder do everything an eight cylinder would do. You know, I'm just an eight cylinder kind of guy. And uh, I like razors with a lot of blade feel. So my poor contours and push buttons and things of that nature, don't get a lot of face time. Newfangled things. I'm usually into the more vintage anyway. We all know that. So uh, Powell Super Blade's got a couple of shaves on it. That should do really well. But that's how I uh, kind of say about razors. It's kind of like I do with engines. I mean, you can turbocharge a six-cylinder and out pull all the eight-cylinders and little four-cylinders turbocharged. They'll do the job just as well. And every, You know, it's all in how it's set up and how you run it. So, uh, that's just kind of how I see it. All right, well, we're going to use a synthetic brush today with the old tuxedo knot. This is an AP shave out of Canada where this one came from. I don't know who made it. Uh, the handle is a handmade, hand-turned handle, the 30DC crew brush. Thanks to Jason again. I always say thank you when I use this thing. Isn't that a beautiful brush? Look at that. Hand-turned, hand-painted in Canada. Eh? <laughs> Gotta love it. And uh, British Sterling is what I picked out for no particular reason other than, yeah, it's good. You know, this is my before church shave. And uh, British Sterling, it's just, you know, just a big old bottle of goodness. Uh, that's the only way to describe it. It's great stuff, no doubt. And for coffee, since some people seem to like to think what I'm drinking, uh, today I used a Keurig. I, you know, I have mixed feelings about Keurigs because when you get finished, you got this plastic to throw away. Not real big on that. Unfortunately, I have a second-hand pot, and I don't have the basket where I could actually use ground coffee. I know I could probably. And 
on this particular one I have, I can't use the replaceable cuts before somebody mentions it because it actually has a blade on this one that pierces the side of the cut. And, uh, you know, so I feel mixed emotions on some of these. I try not to use the Keurig a whole lot. I definitely don't use it for all my coffee. But today it's a French market coffee and chicory. Nice, 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 nice coffee. Very good. They call it a medium dark roast still a dark roast it's still got chicory it's still louisiana still goes into williams cup it's fuzzy approved all right so here we go well we're using a shave stick type we're using a synthetic brush so we don't have to soak anything today but we'll just get to it with our with a rag here oh just a second i kept my reading glasses on but actually on these razors pretty much you don't have to worry about them because the the sides are covered so you just about can't get a blade sticking over the end. As long as they're behind the blade stops, you're pretty well going to be okay. They can't go past the end of the blade stops and, you know, make you look like Frankenstein Jr. or anything. All right. Oh, warm water feels good. It's a little bit cool. It was down around freezing last night. And people who are up north of me right now are making fun of that going, you don't know what cold is. Yeah. You know, I live in Louisiana. No, I, you know, I'm in southern Louisiana, down to it. I, I know I really probably don't remember what cold is. I'll agree with you on that one. But, uh, you know, you don't know what hot is. Well, some of you will. But anyway, so what we're going to do, we're just going to wet the side of the cake here. Just like you would dampen a, uh, a shade stick. And then we're just going to go... Now, this would be a good idea if you, like I said, if you didn't want to actually grate a cake down and go through all that and make you a shave stick. This would be great for travel though. And I imagine you could do that with pretty much any cake of soap you wanted to, as long as it's a hard enough soap you can handle on. And uh, we just wet it down and we're just going to use it just like a shave stick. I think that's pretty old school. And you know, you keep it in the box and you throw it in your shave kit or whatever you travel with. If you didn't like taking the whole thing, saw it in half. Take half of it with you. I mean, you still would have a, a functioning shave stick and you didn't have to go through the trouble of making a shave stick. And there you go. You've got your William shave stick. I think that's a good thing. Now, I don't know. How much soap we need to put on because like I said, I haven't played this particular game much before. I've probably done this before. I don't remember it right off the top of my head and I know I don't have it on video yet. So, you know, no video, it didn't happen. All right, wash your hands off a little bit. Just cause. Then we're gonna take our old handy dandy tuxedo here. We're just gonna dampen the tips of the brush cause we don't need a real damp brush. Cause like I said, we'll be slinging Lather and water and everything all over the place. Oh, it looks like that's going to start building up pretty good. We'll see what we come up with. Of course, this would also work great with a boar. And it worked great with a badger. Uh, now we finally got the water working in like we wanted. Look at that go. This brush feels really nice. If you haven't had a chance to uh, get a handmade brush, there's several people making them. And I, ha I don't have but a couple uh, that are handmade. I've got uh, some JR brushes that everybody's seen, and then I've got this brush. But uh, if you haven't checked out a handmade brush, they're really neat to have just because you know someone took the time to to work on the design and to turn the design and it's kind of a personalized thing you can ask for them to make it bigger for you or smaller or whatever you want uh check out jr he's over at the toast he's over at the shaved den he's got his own bog spot where you can see his brushes that are up for adoption as he calls it and uh he does some wonderful work he also builds uh, boxes for razors. Like if you have, I've seen him build some for the old Empire razors and some of the old, uh, now it's gonna run out of my head, but 
uh, some of the old lather catchers and stuff. He builds cedar and wood boxes and they're just amazing. Uh, you, you really owe it to yourself if you have razors and, and like that kind of stuff, check it out. Alrighty, but especially for brushes because he's always got brushes for sale. He does a version of the uh, the 400 in wood that is really, really, really nice. So there's no difference in shaving with um, the contour over any of the other gems. The head's pretty well the angle, and you pretty well just shave. We're going to start out with the grain like we always do. And the next pass will be against the grain. So our Williams is doing good, nice and slick. And we're going to uh, go ahead. Look at there. Now the first thing people go to holler, oh, it looks like it's thinning out under there. It's thinning out. Sometimes, baby. Although you'll notice for most of my shaves, that's not an issue. But uh, even if it does, don't worry about it. Slick still there. Feel good and slick. So here we go back with a second round. And of course, we don't need a real thick layer, especially on the second round. We're just going through and going to go against the grain. But the wheel is really slick. So the idea of using it as a shave stick just by using the cake looks pretty good. Behind that either. There we go. So, a little trick I found with synthetic brushes that I like, and someone can chime in on this. I think personally a synthetic brush does a lot better with the uh, kind of paintbrush motion as opposed to swirling. I still swirl on some, but I think for the most part, with uh, coming down across the grain under here, I think for the most part I like uh, paint motions with the synthetics. And I'm a swirl guy with the rest of it. Alright. Nice short strokes across here. And we could have run back the other way or, you know, whatever we wanted to do. It's not an issue. Alright. Nice shade. These razors, really, they shave nice. And, uh, like I said, if you, if you like a, a milder razor, these are definitely on the milder side. But like, it doesn't mean you're not going to get a good shave. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, coffee's so good. A nice dark roast with chicory. It's just, uh, just great stuff. I'm telling you, French Market is nice. And it's one of the ones that still comes in the uh, metal container. You can still get them in the little metal container. and It looks cool and it's kind of retro cool and the coffee is exceptional. Keeps it nice and fresh with the plastic lid on it. Fuzzy approves. Alright, so here we are with what we have here. Yeah. Not a bad shave at all. Went by the cigar store earlier and thought I'd sit back in the cigar room and have me one, but there were too many people in there. Might not know it. And people don't believe it sometimes when I say it. But uh, Fuzzy's an introvert out in public. I don't like people. Someone told me the other day, oh, you mean you don't like being around people? No, I didn't say that. I don't like people. I'm okay in small groups of people I know and I like. Other than that, I'm the walk around the corner of the walk around the edge of the crowd type. So we're going to use British Sterling, but before we get to the British Sterling, we're going to get around to the Witch Hazel. But anyway, I picked me up some cigars so I'd have cigars for a couple of weeks. And uh, I'm with cigars the same way I am with everything else. I like the lesser expensive ones. So I picked up some uh, Casa de Garcias. If you haven't, if you're a cigar smoker and you haven't tried Casa de Garcia Maduros, you need to. I get them for under three dollars a stick, and they're really nice Maduro. And then they started uh, bringing in something called Odyssey, 
and I'm not sure who makes the Odyssey. I haven't looked, but it's a nice three dollar big Maduro. And then Drew Estates, and that's a name that most cigar smokers know. Drew Estates is making a budget line that they're calling factory smokes. Now I don't know how long they've been making. I just found out about them a month ago or so. And uh, they're a really, really nice big ring gauge Maduro that's uh, not real expensive. So that's the, that's Fuzzy's uh, picks for today on not as expensive big ring gauge Maduro cigars. There you go. Bonus. All righty. Well, that touch up pass went very well. I just had, you know, the normal areas I would touch up. Who am I joking? Oh, <laughs> you know, we always call it a touch up pass. It ain't a touch up pass. It's just another pass all over for it's over with. Whether it needs it or not, because as long as you're running a good angle and you got good pressure, you can go back over it. You're not going to give yourself irritation. Trust me on this one. So I fire off the witch hazel and then I'll go in and uh, do a whole nother pass. Just call it a clean up pass. It's just an excuse to shave more. That's all it is. Well, check this out. How you like it? I like it. Nothing in the world wrong with a contour or a contour two. If you like milder razors, you should really enjoy one of these. I don't particularly, personally, feel a lot of difference between the shaves a difference in the shade between a lot of the newer stuff you had the uh heavy flat top which was a g-bar the featherweight i think was actually before that but then you had the push button in the late 50s you know 58 59 uh and you went into the contour which was a push button style but it had this plastic handle and it's got a little curve on it and uh, then you had the contour tour here it's got the little metal strip in the back and the uh, the kind of 19-ish, 1912-ish style head. And all those later models to me, they all feel the same. Now I know there's people who prefer one or the other and necessarily shave different from one or the other. Maybe, if you if you say so. I, there's that little bit of difference in, you all know what I think about the little bit of difference that I can, uh, no you can't, no, don't work that way. It's in your head, but the big thing about it is, that's okay because it's your head, your face, your razors. Do what you want to. So anyway, overall, it's not a bad shave. I don't shave with the newer ones a lot. I'm more of a vintage guy, but that doesn't mean you can't get a good shave from them. Razor's a razor. Blade's a blade, my friends. And that's uh, with the exception of a damaged equipment, which we don't, you know, we all know damaged equipment is not going to shave good. I don't think I should have to... Uh, point that part out so a little British sterling here on the old mug now I am eagerly eagerly looking forward to getting to use a starring is that the name of it Michael you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong but uh, one of my uh, YouTube friends who actually lives not too terribly far from here uh, was nice enough and he decided to buy me one of these things and it's be the first modern single edge razor I've used with the exception of the ones that Tom White made but this is the first kind of mass produced uh, I think it's uh, PAA made it and uh, somewhere around here and I need to dig it out and use it sometime I was gifted a PAA slant at least I think that's where I remember it came from if I'm wrong somebody will chime in and help me out but uh, so be interesting to see about this I, you know I haven't bought any I wouldn't buy any but if someone wanted to gift it to me, I'll definitely take it and I'll put it to some use. Because I bet I can get a good shave. He's uh, he's telling me it's a lot like a Micromatic. So uh, I do love, do love a Micromatic shave. So we're going to see what we got. And uh, I'm looking forward to that coming in here before too long. And then we'll, we'll of course, get a video on that. Well, look, y'all have a great day. I'm going to go do what I'm going to do. You go do what you're going to do. You know, someday our people will get together. We'll do lunch. And uh, until then... Happy shaves to you. Good afternoon.